Hi everyone, let's quickly simplify this without the use of a calculator. First of all, we can express 2 to the power of 13 as 2 to the power of 10 plus 3 plus 2 to the power of 10 plus 2 to the power of a is equal to b squared. Now, remember that when you have a to the power of m plus n, that is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. So that simply means that we can express this as 2 to the power of 10 multiplied by 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 10 plus 2 to the power of a is equal to b squared. Now we can factorize 2 to the power of 10 out, right? So we have 2 to the power of 10 brackets. When this is divided by this, we have 2 to the power of 3 plus when this is divided by itself, we have 1 plus 2 to the power of a is equal to b squared. Now, we have 2 to the power of 10 multiplied by 2 to the power of 3 is 8 plus 1 plus 2 to the power of a is equal to b squared. Now, let's continue to solve. We have 2 to the power of 10 brackets. 8 plus 1 is 9, right? Plus 2 to the power of a is equal to b squared. So, at this point, let us express 10 as 5 multiplied by 2 here. So, we can write this as 2 to the power of 5 multiplied by 2 bracket three uh, nine is same thing as three squared at this point i want to get um difference of two squares plus two to the power of a is equal to b squared now when you have a to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n or a to the power of n multiplied by a to the power of m so that means we can write this as two to the power of five raised to the power of two multiplied by three to the power of two plus 2 to the power of a is equal to b squared. Okay, we are now actually forming difference of two squares. We are going to use uh, a law in exponents to get something from here. Yeah. Now, let's continue. 2 to the power of 5 will give us 32. So, we have 32 squared multiplied by 3 squared plus 2 to the power of a is equal to b squared. If this is the first time you are seeing us, please click on the subscription button and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss our amazing videos. We upload videos daily. So please tune in as you're confident to watch our new uploads and then give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video. Thank you very much. So let's quickly continue. Now, look at what we have here. Remember that we you have a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n, m, multiplied by b to the power of m, sorry. This is equal to a multiplied by b raised to the power of m. All right, once they share the same power. Now, look at what we have here. That means you can write this as 32 multiplied by 3 squared plus 2 to the power of a is equal to b squared. Now, 32 multiplied by 3 will give us 96, right? So, we have 96 squared plus 2 to the power of a is equal to b squared. Now, let's make 2 to the power of a the subject of the formula so that from there, we can get the value of our a, all right? Now, we can say 2 to the power of a is equal to b squared. Now, plus 96 squared will cross to become minus 96 squared. So, remember that when you have a squared minus b squared, that this is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b. Okay? So, that means we can rewrite this equation as 2 to the power of a is equal to b minus 96 multiplied by b plus 96. Now, let 2 to the power of a, let 2 to the power of a be equal to 2 to the power of m multiplied by 2 to the power of n. Yes, remember, using the law of exponents. But in this case, our m must be greater than n since a is positive, right? So, that simply means that if we say 2 to the power of m now, multiplied by 2 to the power of n is equal to, this is going to be b plus 96 will come first, multiplied by b minus 96. So, we can actually say, that 2 to the power of m is equal to b plus 96, and we call this equation 1, and 2 to the power of n is equal to b minus 96, and we call this equation 2. All right, now we can solve this as simultaneous equations. Now let's use the elimination method. So if we subtract equation 2 from equation 1, we are going to have 2m minus 2n, right? 2 to the power of m minus 2 to the power of n is equal to b minus b is 0. So we are going to have 96 minus minus 96. 96 minus minus 96. All right? Now, we have 
that 2m to the power of m minus 2 to the power of n is equal to 96 minus minus becomes plus. So we are going to have 96 plus 96, which will give us 192. Okay, so 2 to the power of m minus 2 to the power of n is equal to, now 192 can be expressed as 64 multiplied by 3. Yes, so that's way, let us divide both sides of this equation by 64. Okay, but before that, to make this easier, we are going to express this as 2 to the power of 6. So we have 2 to the power of m minus 2 to the power of n is equal to 2 to the power of 6 multiplied by 3. Okay, so let's divide both sides by 2 to the power of 6. So we have 2 to the power of m minus 2 to the power of n divided by 2 to the power of 6 is equal to 2 to the power of 6 multiplied by 3 divided by 2 to the power of 6. So from here, we can see that, excuse me, let me draw a line. Okay, so this is where we stopped. That 2 to the power of m, excuse me, 2 to the power of m minus, oh. all right, let's continue. Now, we can see from here that 2 to the power of m minus 2 to the power of n divided by 2 to the power of 6 is equal to this, we divide itself to give us 1, and 1 times 3 is 3, okay? Remember that when you have something like this, you can distribute this denominator for both of them. So we have 2 to the power of m divided by 2 to the power of 6 minus 2 to the power of n divided by 2 to the power of 6 is equal to 3. Now, note that when you have a to the power of m over a to the power of n, that this is equal to a to the power of m minus n, right? So that means that we can rewrite this as 2 to the power of m minus 6, right? Minus 2 to the power of n minus 6 is equal to 3. Okay, since we have base 2 here and base 2 here, is there any way we can bring out base 2 from 3? That is, we have perfect squares in base 2 from 3. Yes, so we have 2 to the power of m minus 6 minus 2 to the power of n minus 6 is equal to, we have 4. 4 is 2 squared minus, we have 1, 1 is 1 squared, okay? And 4 minus 1 is still 3. So we have 2 to the power of m minus 6, minus 2 to the power of n minus 6 is equal to 2 to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of 0. Yes, remember that any number to the power of 0 is still 1. So from here, if we compare both sides, we can see that 2 to the power of m minus 6 is equal to 2 to the power of 2, and... 2 to the power of n minus 6 is equal to 2 to the power of 0. Now, remember that when you have the same base, you ignore the base and you create the power. So, we can have m minus 6 equals 2. So, if we cross multiply, sorry, if we cross this minus 6 to the other side, we have m to be equal to 2 plus 6, which is equal to 8. So, this is the value of m. Now, to this side of the equation, we have n minus 6 to be equal to 0, right? Since they share the same base. So we have n minus 6 equals 0. So n becomes 0 plus 6, which is equal to 6. Now, this is where we are. But remember, we are, not, we are not looking for the value of m and n. Rather, we are looking for the value of a and b. All right. But recall, okay? But recall, recall that 2 to the power of m is equal to b plus 96. Can you still remember that? Yeah. 2 to the power of m is equal to b plus 96, this place. Okay, so that is exactly what we are going to use now. Now, remember that our m is 8. So we can write that 2 to the power of 8 is equal to b plus 96. So 2 to the power of 8 will give us 256. So you have 256 is equal to b plus 96. So to get the value of b, we are going to transfer this to this side, right? So we have 256. Then this we cross become minus 96, right? So B is equal to 160. So we have gotten the value of B. Now, to get the value of A, also recall, also recall that 2 to the power of A is equal to 2 to the power of M multiplied by 2 to the power of N. Remember where we made that statement? 2 to the power of A is equal to 2 to the power of M multiplied by 2 to the power of N here. Okay? All right, so from there, we can say that 2 to the power of A is equal to, remember that our M is 8 while our N is 6. So we have 2 to the power of 8 multiplied by 2 to the power of 6. So we have 2 to the power of A is equal to, we pick one base, right? Using the multiplication law, 
and we add the powers 8 plus 6 so we have 2 to the power of a is equal to 2 to the power of 14. now look at what we have here by comparison our a is equal to 14. now if we check if we check the equation says 2 to the power of 13 plus 2 to the power of 10 plus 2 to the power of a is equal to b squared so if we solve this 2 to the power of 13 let's substitute 2 to the power of 13 plus 2 to the power of 10 plus 2 to the power of our a is 14 right is equal to our b is 160 160 squared so if you press your calculator i've already done that before so if you press your calculator 2 to the power of 13 will give you 8192 plus 2 to the power of 10 will give you 1024 plus 2 to the power of 14 will give you 16384 and this is equal to 25600 this is exactly what 160 squared will give you as well and this shows that the the answer is correct thank you so much for watching bye